Hello all, welcome to R&D Labs with me Rohan and today we are going to see how to import a CSV file to your Swift project. This video is a continuation of the previous tutorial where we had covered how to export a CSV file from your Swift project. If you haven't checked that video out, please do check that video. I've added the link in the description box below. So how do we do it? Let's get started. So let's first recap what we have done in the past tutorial. Uh, we had imported a library from GitHub, which is called chcsvparser.h and chcsvparser.m. These are the two class under that library. And uh, since this is an Objective-C library, we had uh, created a bridging header within our Swift project. After which we had created a button within our storyboard, which will help us generate the CSV file. So if we go into the view controller.swift class, we had created a, an action which will create a CSV class, sorry, which will create a CSV file rather. And uh, it had got four columns by the name employee ID, employee name, uh, employee age, employee designation. And we had added uh, the data within the uh, array and then exported onto the CSV file. So this is what we have done in the past tutorial and uh, the file was actually saved in the files app. So for this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to use the same file and we are going to import the data back into our application. So just in case you have just joined in uh, from this tutorial onwards, I'll recommend you to watch the previous tutorial to set pace on our progress. So first up, uh, in order to import the CSV file or rather any file, you have to define the UTI. Now, what is a UTI? By Apple's definition, a UTI, that is Uniform Type Identifier, is a string that identifies a class of entities within a type. So basically, it is something to identify the format of files. Okay, so let us first import the Uniform Type Identifier module into our project. So let's go up and import Uniform Type Identifiers module into our project. And then we will go to the main.storyboard and we will add another button to import the CSV file. Okay, let's create uh, an action for this. Sorry. Let's bring up my assistant editor and we will create an action for this. Let's name it as import CSV. And that's it. So here what we are going to do is we are going to specify the supported types or the file types that the application will be able to import. Okay, so let us first declare a variable. Let's say let uh, supported files as sorry as ut type. Yes, this is a one, and then specify it a type which is ut type dot data okay now uh, in order for you to understand i'll just bring up the web page which is having a list of ut types available in it so let me bring that up for you <clears throat> so in our case what we are going to do is we are going to use public dot data which is this okay so this is like uh, in, if you look at the hierarchy of the uh, uti types public dot data sits right up on the hierarchy so if you want to be more specific then you can use public dot text public dot plain text uh, we have got uh, the other types as well which has got public dot xml to import uh, the xml file and so on and so forth so you can browse this list entirely which is available and i've added the link in the description box below so please take a note on it so let's go back to our tutorial and after we have created a variable of type ut type dot data let us go and open up the ui document picker view controller now before doing that we'll have to set the delegate on our class so let's add the ui document picker delegate 
okay so once you have done this uh, let us go down to our action and we will specify the variable of ui document picker view controller so let's go down and let's say let controller is equal to ui document picker view controller yes and we will specify for opening content types and we will have to specify the supported types variable which we have declared on top so let's say supported files and let's say as copy true yes okay so we what you have done here is we have specified the supported types uh, for our application and then we have requested ui document picker view controller to open up the documents of this particular type so everything is enclosed within this variable and next up what we are going to do is we are going to set the delegate for this variable so let's say the controller dot delegate sorry delegate is equal to self and we will specify allow multiple selection as false so that we just select only one file okay <clears throat> now let's say present and we will present this document a picker controller uh, from our application so let's say controller and we will specify animated as yes or true rather and completion block is nil all right what's happening here okay I, there was a space missing <laughs> okay so now once you're done this and uh, the files app would open but we need to first concentrate on what will happen after the user selects it so in that case we are yet to add the stubs for the delegate so let's go ahead and add that so let's write function uh, document picker uh, did document did pick documents at url or i will just select this one since we need just only one document and what we will do here is we will just say print a file was selected just for our notice okay after which what we are going to do is once a file is selected it will return a set of arrays so in our case uh, since it is a csv file it would be in set of rows okay so first let us declare a variable of type rows and give it a type as an as array and over here we will specify contents of csv url okay and we will specify the url which is returned from the stub variable and we will specify chcsv chcsv parser options dot sanitize fields okay so what it does is as you can see on the description it cleans a field before reporting it so let's it's a good practice to have that and we have a list of rows with us from this csv file okay and we will then specify a for loop which will iterate through the rows that we have collected from the csv file so let's say row in rows and let's open up the clear curly braces and we will say simply print a row so this will at least tell us what is the content within the row all right so this error is because we haven't set the ns array properly and that's it so once you're done this uh, let us go ahead and run this uh, application and see what we have in store for us let's build it first okay and uh, let's run it in a simulator so the application is now attached to the simulator so let's go ahead and uh, click the import csv file button So as you can see it has directly opened up the files app and uh, in our previous tutorial we had created the 
test file, the test CSV file, as you can see here. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on that. So let's see what happens. So if you click on that, it will show up on the output window. So now where is my output window? I will have to bring that up for you. Yes, here it is. So, so this is the output window. If a file was selected, a print statement is, select, is printed over here. <laughs> and uh, you can see the contents of the CSV file. Uh, the first row that we had was the header for the CSV file. And the rest that followed up was the data within the CSV file. So if you go up and see, this is what we had done in our previous tutorial. So the same data is actually imported back to your application. Now, once you have your data with you, you can decide the way you want it to be. You can import this into an array or any other way in which you would prefer that to be. So uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I have just simplified the process. I have imported a CSV file and I have created an NS array and I have iterated through the array and printed the result for you. So this is how you import a CSV file to your SIP project. I hope you like this video and if you have any doubts, please reach me out in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to the channel and help us be part of your journey to learn Swift. See you until next time. Cheers.